Hey peeps, welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. My name is Arietta and today I have got a little bit of post to share with you and a finish. So we'll start off with the post, which I have already had a little sneaky rummage through, but I've still got some bits to unwrap that I haven't looked at yet. So this comes from the wonderful Pencil Surprises, our good friend Shaz. Um, she, as if you, if you go check out her channel, details down below, she has been playing around with resin and has started making some really lovely things, which she has kindly sent me to have a look at. So let's have a look at what she's given me. So um, this is the item that I have already unwrapped because I couldn't wait. Um, so this is my little trinket dish with the pentagram and triple moon design. Um, it's coming... When I look at the camera, it's coming up really blue, but I promise you it is the most gorgeous shade of Cadbury's purple in real life. I'm not sure what's happening with my lighting in here. Um, and then with this lovely gold pentagram in the middle. So really lovely. And I will be keeping that around to store rings and things in and anything else that I can think of. Um, it will definitely be used and loved. Um, so extra things so let's have a look in here what have we got oh wow so this is a green lady um, let's see if I can get a good you can see it's got that lovely gold mica on the face really lovely details in there really really pretty lovely and um, it's got a good weight to it so even you without anything on it would work as um, a paperweight would work lovely just as a decoration for your altar if you are a witchy person like me and you like to decorate your altar with seasonal things or images of your gods um, there are lots of different ways that I can see these being used I'm gonna have to go and get myself a sharp pointy thing come here you Let's just there we go why struggle when you can just use a knife so here as I suspected we've got the the pairing so we've got our green lady and then we've got our green man and pencil surprises has done him with a lovely copper mica face um if any of you have been watching my friday videos at the moment i am currently completing a version of the green man um who is um the holly king so he um he is very much associated with the winter time and with Yule, which is our next pagan festival to come up. Um, oh, that's that's an interesting find, is that that fits quite nicely in there. So if you wanted to add a sort of a seasonal representation to this, if you were using this on an altar, then, um, yeah, this would be a nice way to, to interchange what you were, you know, who you were communing with or what you were, what you were up to. I'm gonna just snip through this. What is this one? Is this a cat? Is this? It's a. Oh, it's a creepy little bat. Excellent. It's giving me real sort of Nosferatu vampire bat vibes. I kind of love it. I love all the details. And this purple colour is gorgeous. I just wish it was showing up a bit better on camera. I don't understand what's going on. But um, yeah really really lovely um i'm gonna probably end up popping him away with my Samhain halloween decorations um i'm getting him out when it's spooky season but um yeah look at those fangs i love that their little nose is a little heart adorable but like in that ugly, adorable kind of way. <laughs> oh, 
Right, what have we got here? Come on, open. I did consider doing some of this off camera and maybe I should have done, oh, there we go. Am I in? Am I in? I don't want to break it. I mean, resin's fairly forgiving, but it can be a little bit brittle sometimes. Um, the weather here is extremely cold, um, but um, if you can hear a fan, it's the heater. Um, cross, yeah, it was, it was very, very cold here and I was, you can't diamond paint if you've got freezing fingers. What is going on here? Why can't I get into this? Here we go. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is the, we've got a pentacle here. Um, so pentagram, if it's not in a circle, pentacle, if it is in a circle, um, this one is um, we would call a, a downward pointed or an inverted pentacle. Um, anyone that's watched too many horror movies um, may have some negative associations with this. Um, for pagans and particularly for, for Wiccans, the downward point um, is linked to two things. It is linked to looking within yourself um, and it is also representative of the god of our religion. Um, he is often represented as having horns, as per my little statue. Um, and so the, the two upward points here would denote that. So, um, so yeah, this is lovely. Again, gold, mica, super shiny. Really lovely. But what I might do, I think, is string this up and pop it on the tree for the festive season, because I think that will look really lovely with the festive lights hanging on it. Um, this other little one, um, I'm not going to open on camera because it's not for me. It is for my son. So, um, But suffice to say, um, I have had a little peek. And um, thank you. Huge, huge love to you for doing that. He's going to love it. So these are my little gifties um i am so grateful um i may be speaking a little out of turn but um those of you that were in my live last week can vouch for me um that pencil surprises has also offered to um sponsor my event in february and she is going to be making some some resiny bits for that so um again huge thank you um i could not be happier with these they are really lovely and um yeah thank you for your friendship and the gifts so moving on um november saw me taking part in the um oh words the doctor who event and this was my canvas which I completed um, just in the nick of time um, I didn't think I was going to just because I was ill and I had a lot going on and I was also doing the purple post month event um, but yes so this is um, the tenth by Mandy Manzano from Diamond Art Club I will pop a link oh whoops I will pop a link up in the corner to my unboxing so that you can go take a peek at that um i yeah it's it's lovely there's really not a lot to say mandy's artwork lends itself beautifully to being diamond painted um i've just finished off the edges with a little bit of um heart and um, stars and moon washi tape that i had um this one will eventually get put in a frame to go up next to the 11th Doctor canvas, which has been completed by my daughter. Um, so, but yeah, you can, the shading in this and the colors are really lovely. The way that they've captured this light hitting 
the back of his head and then the green light hitting the front really really well done um it was a really nice mix of color blocking and confetti um, I thought that this brown section was going to drive me nuts because it's all dark and a bit dingy but actually it was incredibly quick to do and it's it's a round canvas so um, I find them quite quick. There are ABs scattered throughout. Um, all of the white that you can see is AB. Um, there are also blue ABs and was that it? I can't remember. Bear with me a second and I will check. So as I'm checking that, we might as well look at our lefty overs. Um, so what have we got left? Not a lot in here. Um, no, um, what's that? 3371, so it's the dark, dark, dark brown color sort of half a pack left in there um and yeah I, I could have poured it in there so half a jar left in there uh in terms of ab's was it just the yeah so it was just the two ab's just the the blue and the white but so so beautiful um there's nothing that i was even close to running out of and there is a lot of colours in this surprisingly so we've got 10 20 30 40 44 colours in here um, and let's just grab some out so that you can see it's yeah there's nothing at all where we're missing any um, there's uh yeah i've got a whole jar of 310 left although i have to say i think this is the first time i've done a canvas where i oh, or a, a mandy canvas specifically um which are known for having a lot of 310 because of the black outlines it's the first time i've done a mandy canvas and not had a whole unopened bag of black left so i guess um diamond art club are being a little stricter perhaps with their estimations of what um, amounts of drills you need um, but yeah there was nothing that I was running out of I didn't have any trash any more you know not enough trash to write home about certainly um, not enough if, if I find that my canvas is particularly trashy then I will keep that um those drills separately so that i can show you when i do my review but um there really wasn't any need um but yeah you can see all the lovely colors and plenty of everything left um and they will all get used up going into my spares so that is my next job is to sit and put all of these into their new homes in my spares system but yes, I just wanted to share this with you. Um, huge, huge thanks to Rose Profit and um, her, her team for running the event. It was great fun to be a part of. I very much enjoyed taking part in the trivia sessions that we did in Rose's live. Um, really, really fun. And um, yeah, I can also say now that um, I was lucky enough in the very, very last prize giving live um to to win a prize um i didn't win the grand prize um more's the pity but um but yeah i am going to be getting a rose profit original artwork doctor who calendar and i could not be happier um i'm very excited um to be getting that um because i had expressed an interest in getting some of Rose's artwork and now that I'm getting the calendar I don't have to choose which bit I want because I can have 12 art pieces um so yeah um super super grateful for that um I just yeah I, I've had the best time being a part of this event and can't wait for next year I just need to find myself a new Doctor Who canvas um 
so um i think that's it from me for today um i as i said i'll put details um for this canvas in the description um i'll also put a link to um rose's channel so you can go check her out pencil surprises channel so you can go and check her out um and if you would like to purchase from diamond art club um please do consider using my link um it is an affiliate link um which means i may get a small kickback um but all of that money all of that non-existent money um goes back into the channel um so it will help me to keep things running here and um there's also a coupon code for you to use if it's your first time purchasing from them um so that you can get yourself some money off um yeah so all that remains to be said is if you enjoy my content and want me to keep making more please do consider leaving a like subscribe become a member of the crafty coven and i will see you in the next video stay crafty Thank you.